Hey everybody, it's Tim with Broken Dice bringing you a channel update. This is my 60th channel update. Uh, you count from the number one. I did a few of them before that, but there was there was before I started counting them off, and that way I could keep kind of get them organized. Um, first off, uh, I hope everybody had a great holiday. I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve. Uh, I hope everybody has got their projects planned for the year. Has got their um, focus. I'm going to try to focus myself. It's my goal for this year is to be focused, finish projects. Um, so, that being said, first up, I wanted to work on some terrain. And so, let me sit darkest down. My head's a little, it's a little shiny. There we go. I hope that's better. Okay. <clears throat> So, first off with some terrain, uh, I've noticed that in a lot of the games and a lot of the, especially historical gaming, um, a lot of, you know, taking of the high ground, deploying your army on the high ground, um, I mean, especially if you're doing, uh, um, like my Greeks and my Persians, uh, the need for uh, some very difficult high ground and rocky terrain and 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 stuff like that to uh to facilitate the, the in the game and make it feel um very historical uh i don't have so i decided to work on that but i wanted my turn i want my terrain to be where i can just kind of pick it up and move it for different time periods i don't want it to just like look like a a, a hillside in greece you know and i can't you know move it anywhere so, first off, scatter terrain. I'm going to be working on several pieces of scatter terrain. And this is one that I just got done. And I kind of like how it turned out. It's made out of foam board. Um, and this is um, a plaster rock from a mold. And then some clump foliage around it. And some wood. And just, just a piece of impassable. Uh, um, scatter train but like I said hills are another thing and a lot of times it says let's say if we're taking the battle of Hastings 1066 well we all know King Harold had his guys up on a hill so if you don't have a hill large enough to contain your entire force well, that could be problematic. You're going to get a completely different feel in the game. So, what I'm working on is I'm going to do um, like terrain boards, but they're going to be made out of foam board, and they're going to be hills, and I'm, hopefully they'll be able to slide up and butt up next to each other. Now, they're not going to be perfectly, because I want them to also be able to be standalone, so they're going to have beveled sides, and but they'll be able to be put together. And what I'm looking at is right back here. All right. So, what we have here is my tiered, almost like, not quite a ziggurat, but close. You could, I wish I had been able to get this, you can see these definitive lines here. I'm going to have to work on that on the next one. I want that to be a little less sharp along that edge. And a little less sharp along this. This isn't too bad, but that's a little sharp. So I'm going to have to work on making sure that when I bevel that off and I put my filler on there, that it that it's, doesn't come to a real sharp edge like this. Um, and I want, it, I want this terrain piece. I can either set up on the table looking like this. I just going up and down, straight on, or maybe even on the edge, have it be where it's impassable. And I really like how this edge turned out. I like that a lot. Yeah, got a lot of stonework in there, some clump foliage, different colors, got some fallen timber on top. I like that. I like the way it turned out. Um, English Civil War Cavalry. Let's, see, let's bring this up a little 
maybe we can get that there we go just just a small unit because I've been working on a lot of things oh goodness that's awful isn't it there we go you know just my standard fare they look they look very similar to the stuff that I've done prior to and that's that's kind of what I go for when I'm having when I'm doing this large army like this that way I can mix and match the unit guys and change the change the command scan stand and it can go from being a royalist to a to the parliamentarian or in the 30 years war Sweden imperialist whatever but that's the terrain I've been working on actually I can actually put that on there too but anyway but there'll be other pieces that'll go with this Again, more English Civil War stuff. Got all the block colors on them. Um, it's coming along pretty well. Um, been spending an awful lot of time. Oh, before I before I move on, been working with a lot of metal metal models, blah, blah, metal models, and I'm having a problem with my primer. I've been using my airbrush now. I hope someone can help me out with this because the primer that comes out of my airbrush just does not work on these metal models. Now this may be general knowledge to everybody else, but since I've just now really been getting into using my airbrush, because a lot of time up, up to this time I've only really used plastic models for the most part, so the airbrush, there was really no issue on the airbrush. But now that I'm, I've shifted over and I've been doing a lot more metal models, I find, especially with the 54s, uh, 54 millimeter models, um, any sort of handling in your paint will come right off of it. So I'm wondering, and I, this is the question for the group, is there a way to prep that metal to where the airbrush primer will adhere better to the metal? I have no clue. Uh, uh, it may be something something I'll just have to work around some other way I don't know unless you're, there's um, um, what I want to say a uh, brush on primer that would work better let me know what that is let me know who who, who produces that that would be great uh, other thing I've been working on for especially for 54 millimeter is a rule set for skirmish um, kind of more based off of uh, individual combat very small scale five to ten ten would be a, a a fairly large encounter in the game but five models or so um been working on, on the rule system for that um it's going to go from like biblical times all the way up to the early middle ages that way your your technology doesn't skew things so much you start getting into firearms and and you know full plate and uh, just it opens up a whole different scale of, of of issues for you so i like to keep it into that sort of time period and uh, it's coming along fairly well a lot of editing a lot of trying to take my my experiences with gaming and not try to influence put them in there try to take me out of the equation as much as I can and try to write a game that is fun and enjoyable but uses the 54 millimeter models um, in, in in a different way and I'm, I, I hope I'm doing this I'm gonna have to when I get it done I'm gonna have to get it into people's hands let them look at it let them edit it let them play test it out and look at them and say hey you know Tim you're on the right track or Tim you are bad shit crazy well not like I haven't been called that before well anyway and before I get off here okay nine minutes of hobby stuff I'm gonna try to res restrict myself to five minutes of a rant on what happened in my country last week calm down Hi, let's have a chat. I cannot tell you how 
deeply disappointed I am in how that all turned out. I am a big believer in the First Amendment. In the First Amendment, march, protest, gather, galvanize for your political views. If you disagree, let people in power know you disagree. I, I believe in that wholeheartedly. Right or left, march, complain, let your voice be heard. Involved in the process, our political process works as long as you're involved in it. You can't be uninvolved and think it's going to work for you. It just doesn't work that way. I would like to see just how many of those people that were just ranting and running up and down them steps and causing all kinds of havoc actually voted. Actually voted. I would be surprised if they all did. I really would be surprised. So, I took an oath when I was in the military, just along with everybody else, to defend the Constitution. I am a firm believer in our Constitution. I have read our Constitution. Um, I would dare say that most of the people running up and down those stairs have never read the Constitution. Um, and for the most part, they don't have a foggiest idea of how our government actually works. And they should know that since 2000 and before, every president that gets elected promises the moon, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And it doesn't happen. It's because you got to compromise. And that's what we want. Compromise. We want people to come together, discuss, argue, stomp their feet. But compromise. It is the best solution for peace in a country. And I don't care. Far right, far left, you cannot have it all your own way. We are too diverse of a nation to think that everybody's going to believe the way you believe, feel the way you feel. It's just impossible. So we have to come together. We have to compromise. We have to give. We have to take. We have to just <sighs> believe in what we have. If you understand how it works, if you understand the checks and the balances and how, all, how it's supposed to work, and it will only work that way if you are involved in the process the way you need to be involved in. If you don't vote and all you do is whine and complain, you're, you're not even participating at the lowest level of participation. It, it's like a, a contest any sort of a contest in which you lose. You need to learn from your loss. You need to learn, you know, you know, you get punched in the nose, keep your hands up, <laughs> you know. If 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 they outperform you, then you need to galvanize. You need to get involved. You need to organize. But violence is never going to be the solution to this political problem. The only answer to political problems, and it's always been this way, is compromise. I just, I just believe that strongly. That no one is right all the time. Nobody is... Is, is so far removed to be shunned from the system. Uh, I mean, they, they. I just don't believe that. Uh, I do believe that we have the best country on the planet. I, I, I'm, I've been around the world. I've seen other places. And let me tell you, I prefer here. I prefer here. Um, now I'm biased. I'm sure that people from, you know, England and France and Germany, I'm 
been to Germany. I lived in Germany and I liked Germany a lot. A lot. Um, and I'm sure that they would feel like their country is the best country. And I, and by golly, that's exactly how I, I hope they believe. But we can compromise on it, though, can't we? Just again, I'm just, I just want to tell you how disappointed I am in the way it looked for the rest of the world. But please believe me that the majority of Americans do not behave that way. They do not believe that way. They don't believe that that's the answer. You, you, what you saw was a very, I don't know, tip of, of, of a far right wing sort of agitation. I don't know. I don't, I, I just, there's just so much falsehood out there. It's, it's hard to believe and it's it's like if we don't get a handle on the lies if we don't get a handle on the deceit and the sheer effort employed in manipulating people to do things that they should not do if you just would educate yourself a little bit high school level you know, high school little government class would just assuage a lot of angst. You just know that no matter what somebody says when they get, they're get they going to get into office, they got to work at it. And the worst thing we can have, I, I'm telling you, both left or right, is a single party government. It would, it would be horrific for the majority of the country. Horrific. We must compromise. We must accept difference. We must work to come to an understanding. We don't have to agree on everything. That's why you compromise. You don't have to like everything that somebody else does, but you don't have to put your foot on their throat either. I'm sorry, I just... I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to get all radical and fist waving. But for my buddies overseas, believe me, that's not not every American and not every Republican believe that that was the right way to behave. They just don't. It's. It's very frustrating to think that, you know, we've all experienced it. You open open up Facebook and you see this ad in there and you just think, oh my God, not really. Are they really going to try to lie to me about that? Are they really? But there's someone, there's some poor, I don't want to say poor person, but poorly educated, poor lack of understanding who will who will believe that because it's it somehow justifies what they want to believe. It's so dangerous. Belief is so dangerous. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. It's one of the most powerful weapons ever invented. The power of belief. Because we can do such great good with it. Such great evil. Such great evil with it. It's almost... Belief is, can be one of the most frightening forces on the planet. And you have to be careful of what you believe and how deeply you believe in things. You must have judgment and judgment. Comes from experience, wisdom, education. And I'm not talking formal education. I'm talking about the kind of education you get from just talking to people who don't see the world through your eyes all the time. I'm going to just go down. I can go down this rabbit hole a lot. So I'm going to stop here. It's almost 20 minutes in. So 
next video. This is my 60th, by the way. I think I mentioned that, but hopefully the next one will be all on hobby stuff and we can put this all this other stuff behind us. I hope everyone stays safe. I hope everyone stays stays well and you know hopefully we'll get through this. Hopefully we will. Um, this mutated strain of the virus now I, I mean, that's a whole other topic we could get into but I'm not going to do that here everyone stay safe everyone stay well and if you can help me out with my little metal miniatures problem with the, the primer I would really appreciate it and if you disagree with me let me know if you think I'm full of crap let me know if you it, it you know you want to leave a comment please do if you want to subscribe please subscribe it's all about communication it's all about connecting um, I have no big designs for my channel at all so I just I just I like hearing from people everybody be safe it's 21 minutes now <laughs> I'll see you next time